Hi, this is Jeanette Carlson from the TT for T team, and today I'm going to share with you how to use Kahoot. And so I'm on the Kahoot website, and Kahoot is a game based classroom response system. So if you're familiar with using clickers in the past, this just puts a game like feel to asking questions um, and answering them. So some of the things you can do with Kahoot is um, you can create quizzes, um, of course. You can also create discussions with your classes and you could do surveys. So if at the beginning of a class period or a unit you wanted to ask some questions um, to find out what they already know, you could do uh, survey questions. And all of these things are called Kahoot's. So one great thing about Kahoot is that you can use any device that has a web browser. So if students have iPads, of course you could use that. But you can also take students into a computer lab or check out a card of computers or um, iPads. And as long as they have a web browser, what they do is they go to kahoot.it and they will be asked to put a um, game pin in right here and then enter the teacher's room. So it does provide some, some flexibility. You create your quiz as a teacher and then when you're ready you launch it and you will need some type of projector to display this at the front of your room. So you will actually be displaying the questions and then the students will answer on their device or on their computer. So I'm going to walk you through how to um, create your first Kahoot. Uh, get a free account, it is free. It takes um, a very little time to create. And I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, so now I'm signed in, and this is the first screen that you will come to. And right from this screen, you can create a new Kahoot. You can create a quiz, a discussion to use with your students, or a survey. Up here, you will find My Kahoots, and you will also find some public Kahoots that you can, people have shared with the public that you can actually use, and you can make your Kahoots public. And then over here on the side, you have a few other things that you can look at, but today we're just gonna focus on creating a quiz. So click on Quiz. And first thing you're going to do is give your quiz a name and hit go. And then you're ready to start your first question. From this screen right here, you can go ahead and edit the name of your quiz. You do have a few options um, up here to use um, with your questions. So I'm going to go ahead and type some questions in here. So after you type your question and you have a couple of options here, you can make it a points question or not a points question. And then you can select the time limit that you give students to answer the question. 30 seconds, if that's too long, you can go down to 20 seconds um, or whatever you'd like. You can also drag and drop an image from your desktop here. So if you had, say, a math question and you had a graph, you could save that image and pop it into your Kahoot for students to look at and answer questions. Down at the bottom, you fill in your answers. Uh, you have an option to put four answers in. I only need three, so I'm gonna hit this minus sign over here on the right so that I only have three answers. If I needed to add another one in, I could hit the plus sign or I could actually take it down to two answer options. And then I need to come down here at the bottom and select which one is correct. And so for me in this question, it is capacity. And then down way at the bottom, you can add another question. You can duplicate this question, cancel or save and continue. You'll want to save and continue when you're done. So right now we're just going to click add a question. And it'll give me a chance to put my second question in. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more questions in. So after you're done putting all your questions in, come down to the bottom and click save and continue. On the next screen, you will see all the questions that you typed in. And if you'd like to rearrange them, you can by just clicking and dragging on them. So if I'd like this question moved up there, I can drag it up there and it will renumber the question. It also tells me how many seconds I've allowed the students and how many choices. 
If I want to edit the questions, down in the bottom left-hand corner, click Edit Questions, and it brings up your first question, which looks like I have an extra I numbered that one. I'll take that out. And then you can walk through the questions down here in the bottom left um, and correct anything you need to correct, and then just click Save and Continue again. And then when you think that you are done, you're going to click Save and Continue once again. And it says, before you finish, tell us a little bit about your quiz, what language, what kinds of uh, privacy settings you'd like. I'm going to keep mine public. I don't care if anybody else um, uses it. And then the primary audience is school. And then what I think the difficulty level is. And then you could provide a description here. And then if you wanted to tag it so that when people search, they can locate your quiz based on some of the tags that you put in there. So I'll just put a couple tags in there right now. And then again, come down at the bottom right and click Save and Continue. And then optional, give your quiz a cover picture. So you could select an image that you had. And if you don't have an image to select, uh, Kahoot will just give an image um, for you. And then I'm going to click Done. And then you can go ahead and play now. You can go back and edit your quiz, or you can preview your quiz. So I'm going to show you preview mode. So when I click the preview mode, it will show you what it will look like from the teacher side and the student side. So on this side over here on the left, this is what I see as a teacher on my computer, and this is what I would display at the front of the room. On the right-hand side, it shows, uh, like an iPhone, what the students would see. This is also what they would see if they were on a computer. So I'm going to go back over here. I have a couple options as a teacher. Display the game name throughout, um, show some lobby instructions, randomize the order of questions, randomize the order of answers in each question, or the play music um, while you're waiting and you can pick and choose what you'd like to do with that. So I'm just going to leave them as the default and go ahead and select launch as the teacher. And then it will say ready to join. And right up here at the top is your pin number for this quiz. So again, you can go to kahoot.it is where the students will go on their device and on a computer and they will put this game number in. So I'm going to come over here on my student phone and put in that PIN number. And I'm going to enter to join and ask for a nickname. And I'm going to say join the game. And then the student sees that you're in. Do you see your name at the front? And again, this is displaying at the front of your room. And as a teacher, I can see, and the rest of the class can see that Jeanette is in. And the number of players will fill in um, as you, as they uh, log in with the PIN. And then I hit Start Now. And it will say, are you ready? And then the question will display on the teacher side. Which of the three C's of credit looks at the current debt that you already have? And then as you can see right here, there are three options. All the student sees is this. So the question is displaying at the front of the room from the teacher. And then I see over here my options. So I'm going to go ahead and select the blue option. And that tells me correct. 600 cahoots for you. You're now in first position. So it'll show the correct answer over here on the teacher side. And then you click next. And it will give you the top five players. So it doesn't give you every class. Um, every student's score, it just gives you the top five. Here. So go ahead and click next when you're ready to answer the next question. And I'll go ahead and go through these five questions fairly quickly. You get up to a thousand points. You have to answer quickly. So the quicker you answer, the more points that you get. I'm going to go ahead and answer one wrong here so that you can see what that might look like on the teacher side. I'm going to say 5%. You got it wrong, and it does tell them what the correct answer is. So you can see that here is the correct answer. No one got it right, and here's the wrong answer. So you could take some time right then and there to give some feedback to the students and talk about why they missed that and why everyone selected 
the wrong answer and what their questions were uh, on that certain question. Okay, and now that we're done with the Kahoot, we're going to go ahead and select end on the teacher side and it tells who the winner is and how many Kahoots or points, how many were correct and how many were incorrect. And you go to feedback and results and it does give the students an option over here to mark if it was fun and did they learn something and would they recommend it and then tell you uh, tell the teacher how you feel about it and then that will show up. Okay, and tells the student that the game is over and over here on the teacher side, you can click final results. And then right here is great. This is where you can download your results right to Google Drive. You can play again, play a different one, or favorite this one. So if I click on download results, save your results to Google Drive, click save. Once it opens up another window, it'll ask you where you'd like to save it. If you'd want to just save it to your drive or if you'd like to change the location of your Kahoot, you can. Um, you might want to create a folder that has um, Kahoot, a Kahoot a folder in there for you. So I'm going to just put it in um, this folder right here and say select and then go ahead and say save. Okay, so it looks like it was saved to Google Drive. And my preview is done. And I will show you on this side what it looks like in Google Drive. So here I am in Google Drive and I can see my Kahoot results are right here. And if I click that to open it, it will open up here in a Google Sheet. So you can see right here, this was a practice, a preview, so it only had one student correct answers, incorrect answers, and my score. And in, it actually gives you the answers that the, that the students um, chose. So you could use this as a type of formative assessment. Uh, it has the ratings down below. Did they like the Kahoot? Did they not like the Kahoot? And then you can look at each question and the breakdown of each question here. Here's my question, question one, the answers. The number of answers, the average answer speed, how quickly the students are answering, how many got them correct, and then again you will see the breakdown of all students by question. So it really does give you a lot of data that you can look at um, and use to, to adjust your teaching or to share with the students to share with them what they're struggling with. So that is how you create a Kahoot. There are also some other options that you can do. You can create a survey and you can also create a discussion. Thanks for watching.